Hillary Clinton and Elizabeth Warren are totally crushing the right in book sales. It's been two weeks since former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's hard choices hit the shelves, and she's already getting hit for a disappointing rollout. Critics say her book is bombing and sales are tanking, news outlets and conservative blogs report. But sales figures for hard choices, compared with sales of books spent by potential Republican presidential hopefuls, tell a different story. According to Nielsen Book Scan data, Clinton has sold almost 135,000 copies of her new memoir. Meanwhile, Republicans who have similarly aimed to boost their profile with the book, Senator Rand Paul, Aki, Senator Mark Rubio, Florida, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, Rep. Paul Ryan, Wis, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, and former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, have paled in comparison. In fact, Clinton's two weeks of sales top the total sales to date of books by Paul, Rubio, Bush, Ryan, Walker and Huckabee, combined. Clinton isn't the only one putting conservative book sales to shame. Senator Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, a liberal sweetheart to whom many have dished the big 2016 question, has sold more than 65,000 copies of A Fighting Chance since its April release, almost doubling the leading seller of the Republican bunch. Huckabee leads the GOP authors with 35,503 copies sold. Rubio is right behind him with just over 35,000 sales. None of the others has hit 20,000. Bush has sold fewer than 5,000 copies of his book, Immigration Wars. It's no surprise Clinton's books aren't hitting the same numbers as bestseller The Fault in Our Stars. But conservatives may want to consider the success of their own book sales before describing Clinton's as horrendous.